Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Odin's Movie Blog. I am the critic who is a cynic. Hope we're doing well, and today I am back in the office. Hopefully, you have been enjoying the last couple of uh, videos that I've made. The first one where I went to Family Video with John the Flick Pick Flickinger, and then the one yesterday where I went to a really cool local place here in the Chattanooga area called McKay's that is a used book DVD Blu-ray store that offered a, cr a crap ton of different options and for some decent prices. Could you have found better prices elsewhere, even somewhat close prices for even brand new uh, releases of various titles, sure, but it was really cool to find just the various things I was able to, especially the one book I found that I've been looking for for years for only two bucks, so if you want to find out more about that, make sure you check that last video, but let's go ahead and get into the news of today because there is now a new rumor going around, so again, this is indeed rumor territory, and that rumor is that Michael Keaton is apparently going to be pegged to play Batman in the upcoming DCEU Flash film. Now, this is a rumor provided for us by our friends over at Bounding Into Comics, specifically my boy John F. Trent. So it says here, a new rumor details that Michael Keaton is currently in talks to play Batman in the upcoming Flash film. The rumor comes from the rap, so definitely not from one of the more obscure <laughs> references like we got this covered. You know, still rumor territory, but at least coming from a more quote-unquote reputable source. After nearly 30 years, Michael Keaton is in talks for the role of Batman. They added that talks with Keaton are in the very early stages. It is far from a sure thing and can go either way. The rap also indicated they did not know how big or small Keaton's role as Batman would be. While they don't have a lot of details on Keaton's role in Batman, they did provide some information on the actual Flash movie. The rap's Umberto Gonzalez explains the film will introduce general audiences to the idea of the multiverse, one of the core concepts underpinning DC Comics. The Flash film has been turbulent to say the least, going through several directors for landing on IT director... Andy Muschietti. Now, of course, that's because they are planning to do the Flashpoint storyline, which we bring it in again, as they mentioned, that, that multiverse concept. This is something that we've already kind of seen introduced in the MCU, though, of course, if you go back to the world of comics, it's been in the world of comics for a very, very long time now. But essentially, it is that there are different Earths or different universes, again, parallel universes with very similar characters, but those characters are not all the same, right? So in one universe where Superman was Clark Kent, in that universe, it could be potentially someone else, or maybe Clark Kent did something different, or, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Again, I'm not an expert on the multiverse trope, but... Having the multiverse being brought into the DCEU, which is what they've been planning to do with Flashpoint, but of course it's just been pushed back because of production hell, having this kind of rumor out there definitely brings up that interest once again, saying, hey, you know what, I would love to see a Flashpoint movie, even if it... <laughs> happens to star that, you know, creep Ezra Miller, <laughs> you know, whose portrayal of, of, of Flash, who has just been really, really terrible and has been panned by many. Uh, you know, even if we have to put up with that, if it means we have to put up with that to get a Michael Keaton back in the bat suit, or at the very least back as Bruce Wayne, or hey, this is something that I've been saying for a long time, and I was saying they could have done this with Ben Affleck, because obviously the question of whether Ben Affleck will still be involved is still up in the air as well, but they could do it even with Michael Keaton. Imagine if one of the multiverses that they decide to go into, one of the universes that's established, is one where it is not only Michael Keaton's Batman universe, but also Michael Keaton obviously is up there in years, and so now they are going in that specific universe on that specific earth in that specific version of Gotham City going through the Batman Beyond storyline that I think could be a really cool concept and that's something that I've mentioned several times on this channel that bringing in a Batman Beyond storyline could again bridge the old with the new and they of course would have to do it correctly and we all know with the modern state of Hollywood you know not just the MCU but I would argue the DCEU as well they have just not been really able to capture in any type of, I think, sensible or entertaining way. And there's been some entertaining things here or there, but I think for the most part, both universes have kind of gotten to the point, at least the MCU has definitely gotten to a point where it's just falling apart, while the DCEU is still trying to get its grasp together, still trying to get itself put together, and obviously many hopes are being put behind the Snyder Cut, hashtag Lisa Snyder Cut, which is coming out on HBO Max next year, and so maybe that will be a way for them to have a jumping off point for an upcoming Flash film, but this indeed is the rumor of the day, and so what are your thoughts about this? Do you think Michael Keaton coming back 
to play Batman would be a good thing. I think that personally, it wouldn't be as Batman unless he is in like the mechanical Batman suit, like from Batman Beyond. But for me, that would be, I think, the best portrayal of the character and the best way to get that character out there because I think it would bring in a brand new storyline that you could then jumping off of the Flashpoint movie, go into your own separate universe, right? And I think that's kind of the, the idea of what they've been trying to do for a while now, right? It's the it's the worlds of DC. You know, I call it the DCEU, but when I call it that, I'm talking specifically about those films that are interconnected directly with one another, that exist in the same world, that exist in the same universe. But if you bring in Flashpoint and you bring in the multiverse, then what you could then do is then you could explain. That's why Joker can exist in its own universe. That's why the upcoming Matt Reeves the Batman can exist in its own universe. And that's why you could also do a spinoff where you have another Michael Keaton Batman movie, only now it's a Batman Beyond film that is a direct correlation to the old school Batman films made by Tim Burton back in the 80s and 90s. So that could actually be a really cool way to do it. And I know that that would get me excited again because Batman is definitely one of my favorite characters to be portrayed on the big screen. And obviously Michael Keaton is pretty much a badass. So what are your thoughts about that? Do you think that that would be a good idea? Do you think that's the direction that they're likely going to take this? Obviously, this is rumor territory. Very early talks is what the rap is saying. But hey, if the money is right for Michael Keaton, and if the idea is there, not just to put him into Flashpoint, but also to spin it off and do a Batman Beyond storyline and, and have this giant web of interconnected stories spanning decades upon decades of film history... I don't know about you, but as a film buff, as a physical media buff, that would have me damn, damn excited. So let me know your thoughts about that in the comments section below. If you like this video, smash that like button, hit that subscribe. It helps out a lot. You're all amazing and beautiful people. Think about donating to the channel as well, because it allows me to upgrade various things to the channel and also to try help, help to provide more content for you guys as well. Have a wonderful day, everyone. And as always... God bless. And now a huge shout out to all of my June Patreon members, Albertus Magnus, Animation Commentator, Brian P, David Bobrizic, Dion, Divex, Enrique Evangelista, Father Christopher Miller, hail to you, Father, Frank the Tank and the Shawhan Wiener Dog Clan, Harold Francis, the Hunk of Chunky, Funky Monkey, In Flame Wood, Intertrap Productions, Jason Clark, Jeffrey Toon, uh, Kenneth Cameo, Lady T, Laura Story, Mad Mitch Dunaway, Mike Jackson, Mr. Peabody and his evil twin with the beautiful hair, Orange Hat Reviews, Outpost Dyer, Out of Step with Reality, Riff Magos, Rosetta Allen, Steve Glasker, Teresa Martin, Theodore Benton, Tina Bojan, The DJD Show, and Tina B. And also to my subscribe star members, Edgardo Martinez, John B., Perpetual Punster, Robert Revo, Mr. Roy, Glinzer, G2 Cool 99, Dark Star 57, J. Alex McCarthy Jr., US 888209 Fast, Dean Heiss, Harold Francis, J. Rod, the Beer Guru, and also Nebanon G. Adams and ZK Man, and Jonathan Carney, and Jacob Juice. Thank you all so much for being a member of Patreon and Subscribestar. Um, and seriously, it really does mean a lot. Helps keep the light on. Helps me able to do things like the giveaways for my $5 and up backers on Patreon and Subscribestar. And also be able to put more stuff into the actual channel itself, uh, including upgrading uh, different components, whether it be webcams, microphones, things like that. All of that helps to support it. And it really does mean a lot. So thank you all so very much. Please, if you want to have your name shouted out or look at any of the other perks which include things like indeed being having access to exclusive 4k digital giveaways every single month and also an exclusive podcast hosted on patreon subscribe star and also YouTube memberships as well at the $10 and up level featuring John the Flick Pig Flickinger. Please check all of those things out in the description of this video. You guys are all amazing and beautiful people. Have a wonderful day and as always, God bless.